And that's what I did with my technology business several years back. So let's help people steer around the mistake that I made. My first business used things like this with embedded sensors with wireless transmission to collect data about an environment that would then take control of a situation. Once you learn about sensors and you learn about physical things that can be measured with those sensors, then you have this technology power that could make lots of business. And when you cross industries between your technology and another business that's performing a big scale operation, there's an enormous space in between disciplines that are extremely refined, such as these technology items. Naturally, when you can develop sensor systems, there are opportunities to enhance other outcomes of other businesses that have uh, large costs that could be reduced or large performance uh, hindrances that can be enhanced with control systems that respond to data that's remotely collected. So the value inside of the business or value proposition consisted of development of this stuff. The sensors are involved, application, which was indoor agriculture, and the data that we can get from the sensors to enhance the application. The thing that I crashed into was FOOST, fear of open source technology. The method to avoid the FOOST is simple, but I didn't realize it at the time. My big, big customer over here in indoor agriculture was a startup where they laid claims to newer technology that's going to bring new results and new returns on investors' inputs. I told them that all of this stuff and this stuff will be completely sealed under NDA and that the stuff that I'm developing, which is repeatable in other projects, will be open source. Not only did they not understand that, they were so far away from understanding how my technology would help them but keep their business secure, it might take them years to actually understand the insides of the service I was offering so that they could feel secure about it. And they said, nope, we're not gonna do this and truncated the whole relationship. It was excruciating because everything that they needed to have their facility working properly, quickly, was the service that I was offering and they had no other options to do such a thing. I think the first solution is just to be aware that this exists and it's going to be very prevalent for quite some time. Initially, I thought they saw the proposal was not good enough and a few years later, I realized they saw a threat directly to their success. And understand that when business people see a threat to their business, they will not tell you that directly. And perhaps we can use past examples like Android that's built on open source technology, but still keeps customers' data safe. 